Now let us move on to the second exercise. So the first question is state whether the following statements are true or false. Justify your answers. So let us go to the solution. We consider the first statement. The first statement given is every irrational number is a real number. The given statement is true because the real numbers are set of both rational numbers and irrational numbers. Hence, all the irrational number comes under real numbers. Therefore, every irrational number is a real number. So, let us consider the second statement. The statement is, every point on the number line is of the form square root of m, where m is a natural number. The given statement is false. Because even negative numbers can be represented on the number line. But negative numbers are not square roots of natural numbers. Hence, the given statement is false. Now, let us consider the third statement. The third statement is, every real number is an irrational number. The given statement is false. Because the real numbers are set of both rational numbers and irrational numbers. For example, let us consider two real numbers. 2 and root 2. Both are real numbers but 2 is a rational number and root 2 is an irrational number. Hence a real number can be either a rational or an irrational but need not be an irrational. Hence the third statement is false. Now let us move on to the second question. The second question is, are the square roots of all positive integers irrational? If not, give an example of the square root of a number that is a rational number. Let's move on to the solution. The question is, are the square roots of all positive integers irrational? Therefore, no, the square roots of all positive integers are not irrational. So, let us consider two positive integers, say 3 and 4. So we consider square root of 3 which is an irrational number but when we consider square root of 4 which is equal to 2 is a rational number. Therefore the square roots of the positive integers which are perfect squares are rational numbers that is the square roots of all positive integers are not irrational. 